Hello, dear friends. Today, we will again turn to the centuries-old wisdom that helps to achieve harmony and success in life. Let's discuss the fifth guideline from the code of the ancient Greek philosopher Aristippus. Forgiveness. Let's familiarize ourselves with the concept of forgiveness and understand its meaning. Forgiveness is a deep spiritual process, which is the quality of conscience and emotionally mature personalities. It is a conscious decision of a person not to remember evil and not to hold grudge against other people. Psychologists consider forgiveness as one of the finest traits of a character, an amazing personality ability of the individual. We speak about the ability to forgive when another person offended us or insulted us, gave negative emotions with his or her words or actions, and we are ready to forget his bad deeds. People often say that they are not mean and do not remember evil, but these are just words. In reality, they are not willing to forgive. Many people tend to carry the burden of the unpleasant events of the past and hold grudges. They believe that time heals and puts everything in its place sooner or later. Yet, this is not the case. Forgiveness does not guarantee that the person who has offended you won't ever cause you mental suffering. This means that you can survive this insult and don't take it to the heart. It is important to understand that the person who hurt you can also feel remorse because he offended you. Give him a chance to admit the mistake and repent. Recognizing your own mistakes is not easy. Not everyone is ready to admit that he has done something bad and offended another person. The moral qualities of the individual must help a person to realize the misconduct. The bad deeds of a person can be explained not only by a character and gaps in education, but by a combination of outside circumstances. If you have the ability to forgive, you can help the person who has offended you to overcome the guilt and help him to avoid the recurrence of such mistakes in the future. Only people with a strong character are capable of forgiveness. Real forgiveness does not mean forgiving someone of fear, cowardice, weakness or the lack of will. Forgiveness is a conscious acceptance of another person as one is, with all the flaws and misdemeanors. By forgiving a person, you break free from the oppression of resentment and negativity. You get good energy and a positive attitude. When we decide that we won't be able to forgive a particular person, we put an end to the further relationship with them. This is a dead end which won't lead to a relief of an emotional turmoil. If there is no forgiveness, then there will be no inner peace. By learning to forgive, a person develops as an individual. His attitude towards life and people changes for the better. He becomes stronger and spiritually advanced.